WCW's a ween and screaming because, you know, Widow Woman has a man problem. Widow man problem. Many awards voters are skipping Widow Woman because they say it's not for guys. There's one cat, so I can't believe we're still having this m discussion, you know. How dare you not watch the garbage, that woke garbage, okay, you know? How dare men not want to see all these garbage movies that, you know, we put out, okay? How dare men not want to see Captain Marvel? How dare men not want to see Tony Dark Fate? How dare men not want to see Men in Black and the Astor? You know, you guys, you, 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 Hollywood, it's just like you guys just don't understand. When you say men, when you say bad things about your target demographic, men, and you're gonna say, oh my god, you know, streaming is killing feeders, okay? It's streaming is killing feeders, okay? You know, that's the whole, you know, the whole doomsday, okay? They don't listen and look at the movie and see that all the movies are woke piles of bull crap that no one wants to sit through, okay? Look how many woke movies have come out this year. We had Starring to see Captain Marvel, we had Us, which had a massive second weekend drop off, we had, you know, of course, Endgame, which was, had many woke elements in it, but that movie had so much hype behind it, that, he, that they could sneak in some woke elements, like with the Rise of Skywalker as well, which the Rise of Skywalker is actually just as woke as Endgame, it's not the extreme ultra-woke movies, okay? You know, Dark Phoenix is the same ultra woke movie that, you know, no one went to go see. Audiences overwhelmingly rejected that movie. Okay? Audiences also overwhelmingly rejected Man of Action and Astro. They rejected Midsummer, which is a really awful movie, okay? Midsummer was a really awful movie, okay? And people kept saying to me, say, Midsummer is a great movie that you must see. No, it isn't. Midsummer is not a great movie. It's a terrible movie, okay? We also had, you know, the hype around Hush Wars. They made such a big deal about Hush Wars, okay? It wasn't a good movie. And the movie is completely bombing on Blu-ray and DVD. Okay, the movie is completely bombing them. No one wants to see Hush Wars on DVD and Blu-ray. You know, and of course, one's a movie that people liked. You know, the movies that people actually want to see. Oh, yeah, we must vote them down to make sure they don't get seen. We must make sure... As the movies we popped up, always win. Okay, but now let's get into this article. Yeah. Okay, the first part of screen is a real woman of foul capacity, but the series is an award season strategist. So yeah, these great award season. This is why the award season is basically a joke nowadays. They always dominate these garbage work movies, and of course make them always win. Okay, you know we had. The Shape of Water, which is a movie really promoting bestiality, basically, you know, basically promoting a romance between a woman and a fist, okay? But of course, that's not weird and creepy at all, okay? You know, you know, these are people who said, oh yeah, the bean movie is so creepy, but you know, they give best picture to a movie about a woman falling in love with a fist, okay? It's just, it's, these guys just don't make any sense, okay? You know, they complain about, you know, they give, you know, they put, they put, basically the best picks of last year are all, almost all woke movies, okay? Black Panther, you know, they put the Black Klansman and like a few other movies, okay? You know, you guys, behind Greta Gerwig's new film, Moana, that's, the eyes was overwhelmingly comprised of women, and, oh no, the four members of Safari is high with the old ceremony, obviously not. Which means, you know, the trend may account for the quickly of adaptation of the novel, which has been adapted to a k for a gazillion times, has an underwhelming showing in last week's awards nominations. Oh no, there's not enough Golden Globes for the uh, Widow Woman! Yeah, oh no! The team behind the film has reversed by the time, or to reverse that by the time the nomination openings! Well, if it does happen, that means the Iris Man's gonna win. Best Picture, I don't think anyone's really gonna complain if the Iris Man or Joker wins Best Picture. Even though I don't really care for the Iris Man because it's very long, okay? And I don't like watching a movie for three hours and almost four hours, okay? You know, I don't like sitting that long watching a movie. There are some movies I did watch, I do like but that are over three hours long. But I don't watch them, I watch them once in a while. I don't watch them every day, okay? You know, or Joker, you know, you know, they're gonna vote for those movies instead of Little Women. They're not gonna vote for Little Women because it's not, it's a woke movie. Okay? You know? 
And of course, now they're always starting to complain that Little Women is not being nominated for enough awards. It's completely unconscionable bias. I don't think it's anything like a movie with this with sex and said producer Amy Pascal. Still, she does not believe that men gave the movie a sot. Well, you guys didn't give a real rebellion to a chance. You said that movie was garbage. You guys gave it a 50%. You know, actually, it's 60% on Rotten Tomatoes, but you, the average critic score was around 5.7, which means the movie is mediocre according to the critics, when everybody besides the top 10s, where you know, nobody likes the top 10s, you know, they, they're the ones who put Goku on the worst anime characters, you know, how I speed for the first screens in October, as well as many other story pictures hosted the LA award uh, around LA in recent weeks, and skewed around 2 to 1 in favor of women. Because you guys think it's a heroic movies win every single time. I don't think men came to the screen in droves, let me put it that way, Pasco said. I'm not sure they got the screen or DVDs, watch them. I'm not the team behind Little Woman was braced for bad news last week in the screen actors gave a go to go up to announce the nominated. And guess what? Joker got more now and the Iris Man had got more nominations than Little Woman. Netflix got the most nominations of any of everyone. Because at least Netflix, the movies that Netflix nominated, are not woke movies. They're not woke piles of trash that you guys had to force down everyone's throats. Okay? Like Cats, like Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, it's got almost nothing on the Golden Globe. It's got almost nothing. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker got none. You got no awards on there, okay? You know, I got it. The film was, opens on December 25th. Yeah, it's out, 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 and it's not really doing too well in the box office. It actually is underperforming. It's supposed to be the insane. Oh, it's actually doing extremely well. It goes toward, you know, and you know, it goes for, uh, you know, goes 16 million on its first weekend. That's absolutely abysmal for a movie that should be breaking records according to the media. Okay? <clears throat> you know, Composer got nothing from the SAD. Nothing. Um, <clears throat> Price School, a longtime producer on uh, GDC for that, made last week by Green Sims director Melissa McTusser, who fell a film about an African American couple when targeted by a police stop that tells Violet was not given a fair chance by voters. I think it, yo, no, it's racism. Now, now I'm starting to say it's racism. Okay. That our woke movies don't win anything. That our woke movies don't win anything but the Golden Globes. You oh, know that we don't. You know, I'm surprised they're not trying to push Captain Marvel on the Golden Globes. They're not trying to push Captain Marvel on there. You know, Captain Marvel got nothing either. I think the president of Hollywood Foreign Press, or J.C. Ritz, gives out the Globes address the lack of women for making nominees with the variety of one day. What happens if we don't vote by gender? We vote by film and accomplishment, he said. Widow Woman was mattered deeply to a generation of women and girls with seven set posts in the 1800s, 18th after the Civil War, in a new film that has been adapted like 8,000 gazillion times. Who wants to be a published writer while Ford's big plays someone to need a blah blah blah, no one cares. And then this big, you know. And of course, the complaint of this movie is not getting enough awards. That this movie is not getting enough awards. They're, they're pushing this movie to win the most awards possible, okay? They're pushing this movie on everyone. They're trying to push everybody on to watch this movie. It's just not working. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't really care, you know, maintains a 79-97% positive wing, you know. Rotten Tomatoes, one of the best movies of the year. Um, calling the film made, you know, bad, 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 but, ooh, I even more swarm, do you? It's so meaningful, okay? You know, some unlikely supporters have spoken up to add their own voices to the word of mouth campaign. Well, and then he's very versed in Bill Ward and Chris Miller. And of course, how I was gonna go back, you know. Of course, uh, you know, we have to go all of Hollywood be on their side. Now we go all, you know, we, and the Oscars are gonna probably not this movie for as many awards possible, because it's woke. It's woke enough, okay? It's woke enough for them, okay? It's so woke, it's so great, okay? You know? It's so woke, it's such a great movie, okay? You know? And basically, that's it, you know? So, Widow Women is the complaint that Widow Women is being stuffed for awards. The Oscars are gonna be rigged for Widow Women. That's how it's gonna be, okay? They're gonna rig the scores so Widow Women doesn't win, okay? They're gonna make sure that the Iris Man doesn't win, because the Iris Man is not a woke movie. It's not. It's not a woke movie at all, okay? You know? 
some people who think it, you know, it's not worth it at all, but they're going to try nowadays for real women, as many awards as possible, okay? Let's try, you know, another video complain about the people who weren't watching was Booksmart, okay? Booksmart was this great movie that they wanted everyone to see, but no one went to go see Booksmart. No one wants to go, men didn't go see Booksmart, because no one, uh, you know, besides, you know, people and, you know, you know, people, you know, yeah, you know which people I'm talking about, you know. But Widow Women is being overwhelmingly rejected by audiences. And the audience rating score is 4.0. IMDb, of course, is making the score to make sure the movie looks good. To make sure the movie looks good. Okay? That's how IMDb, okay, they make sure they rig movie scores, you know, make sure, oh my god, you know, a woke movie, okay? A woke movie, you know. The Iron be the same as that they gave the Cortez documentary a 6.7 out of 10 when most people hated it, okay? When most people hated the Cortez documentary, besides the critics, besides Hollywood itself, okay? If you get the average score for the woman, it is 7.4. That is lower than Endgame. That is lower than Marriage Story and the, uh, I think it's lower than Iris Man as well. It's lower than Iris Man. It's lower than Parasite. It's lower than Arita. It's lower than Joker, it's lower than Knives Out, I think, as well, lower than 4v Ferrari, which I think that's probably in the 8 out of 10s, it's so, well, actually it's the same score as Knives Out, actually. The, no, that's, you know, you know, where's 4v Ferrari score? Really? It can't be least, you know. It's lower than a water movie that, you know, I think it's it has as lower as Godzilla King of the Monsters as well. Godzilla King of the Monsters is the same score. As with a woman, Boy V. Wally has a higher score, Parasite has a higher score, you know, Merit Story has a higher score, but nope, you know that, and unlike the Oscars, you know, unlike the Oscars, I know, Golden Globes, unlike the Oscars, you know, don't like the movies, the Iris Band's at 8.2, Arena Battle Angels is even higher on the score, you know, the average score, and games at 8.4, around the 8.4, as well. no, that's in 50, and games like at 8.2 or something. Alita is at 8.6, but I want, you know, that's when, you know, they do unbiased reviews like IMDb, okay? You know, Joke is at a 9.0, Parasite is at 8.6, um, you know, literally every other movie that's been nominated, that could be nominated for awards. What's the part of Hollywood that they don't like Tarantino either, okay, they don't like him either. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins Best Director, because, you know, he kind of deserves it over <laughs> Greta Turing, who directed Riddle Woman. You know, a movie that no one cares about besides SAWs. But Town Hollywood has a higher score than Riddle Women. Okay? Riddle Women is a movie that no one cares about, okay? And they're gonna say, oh my god, it's doing massively well in the box office, okay? It's making so much money, okay? You know, it still is not really doing as well as other movies now, you know? It's doing the average. The average for average, you know, Oscar movie, okay? Around 40 to 80 million. It's doing pretty similar to The Shape of Water, which is a movie that you guys said was one of the, was the best movie of that year. We will probably be walking the past 70 million dollars without, you know, the Oscars wig yet to make sure Widow Woman gets the most awards possible. Because unlike the Golden Globes, as I still don't like the Golden Globes anyways, but because of the same Hollywood Awards show, okay, you know. But even then, they're going to be saying that this movie is the best movie of the year. Nominated for the most awards possible are the Oscars. Because the Oscars do vote like that. That's how movies like The Shape of Water won Best Picture. And Green Book and Black Panther snuck on to the best nomination movies. The best movie of the year. Best Picture nomination. Even though Infinity War Fury deserved that instead of Black Panther. You know, if you look at Metacritic. Widow Woman, despite having the highest rate of reviews, is still hot, lower than most movies. It's still lower than Parasite. It's still lower than every movie. Than every, you know, most beloved movies of the year. The most beloved movies, like Arena Battle Angel, it's lower than Parasite, which is at a 9.0. It's lower than Joker. Okay? It is lower than Joker. Okay? You know, a movie that you guys, you could, you people would say, I know Joker's probably gonna win like one or two awards, probably at the very least, okay? Because they hate that movie, they hate Joker, they hate the fact that it was successful. They 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 wanted to stop, they wanted to stop that movie from making money. They wanted to put down the scores on Rotten Tomatoes to make it look worse, okay? 
They want to make it put down, make it work worse, make Joker work worse, but all you guys did was help the movie. It's at 9.1. Actually, it was at 9.2 like a month ago, but it's at 9.1. It's probably not going to go below 8.5 ever. Joker has a 9.1. 9.1. And the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Overwhelmingly positive. Okay? Overwhelmingly positive for Joker. And you get rid of women and knives out. Both have the same score, basically. They're doing worse. They're doing worse than... So, now I know the agenda of this movie has been exposed. Now, now they're all blaming men for not wanting to see this movie. But they're yelling, they're complaining that people are going to go watch Joker instead. Which, you know, real women will probably not make $300 million domestically. Because no one wants to see this movie. No one wants to see this. Besides SAWs. And, you know, the actual movie, the actual demographic the movie is, you know, for. Women. Not men. Men don't want to see this movie because we just don't want to see it. We want to watch the icky blockbusters that you guys don't like.